actually began as a hobby. A hobby that grew into a full-scale rescue mission. In 2009, Jim Halpin founded Schultz's Guest House on a 200-acre farm in Dedham. The vision grows. My first vision was of having six kennels and doing you know, 20 or 30 dogs a year. Well, that changed. From six kennels to the 1,000 or so dogs that will pass through here this year, the former Comp USA CEO created a joyful place for dogs awaiting their forever homes. I wanted to build a shelter from the dog's point of view. The runs are clean, it's air conditioned, it's heated. The volunteers take great care of them. And so we just wanted to do it, do it our way. And I think we have. Surrounded by forests and ponds with the Charles River running through it, dogs and visitors can enjoy a unique playground. We didn't want it to be a kennel. We didn't want it to be a shelter. We wanted it to be a, a guest house. We've kept copies of every dog we've ever had. Halpin often takes time to reflect on the many paws that have passed through here, including one special pup, the shelter's namesake, who left a legacy behind for so many of the dogs who survived tough odds to find themselves here. My dog, Schultz. Schultz was a rescue, rumpy and afraid. He spent his first two years chained up, terrified of men, but lovable. Behind this serene setting is a non-stop operation, fueled almost entirely, Halpin says, by those people who come here for free. We have two people on the payroll, and then I'm here. We're almost insignificant, because without 150 volunteers, it's, it doesn't exist. They're angels. They're absolute angels. I mean, they do things I couldn't do. Heart of gold. We couldn't do it without them, they couldn't do it without us. Volunteers, many who come here in search of their own healing, Look closely and you begin to wonder who is saving who. My husband died a year ago. I needed to do something other than sit around and be sad. <laughs> Judy O'Brien lost her husband, Kevin, to cancer. She says when he died, so did the light in her life. She found purpose through volunteering. These puppies saved my life. They've helped me discover who I am again. It just became something I look forward to every week, and it gave me a reason to keep going. I found my smile again. I couldn't smile. I can't come here and not be happy. Finding renewed hope. So special. To seeking so gratitude special. for what would so soon be lost. Baby. It's been a tough one. Eileen Walther, already a recovering cancer patient, thought she had a sinus infection, but instead found herself battling a rare disease for the second time in less than a year. I was diagnosed with mucosal melanoma, which is an extremely rare form of cancer. There's maybe 700 cases a year that are diagnosed. Not only did she lose her eye. When I was meeting with the surgeon, he started to talk about losing the eye, and then he said, and you might lose the sense of taste and smell. I went home and I had my pity party, and then I said, I have to look at this a different way. So she made a list of the smells she wanted to remember. On the top of that, oh, I could smell that puppy breath. Oh, they invited me here to come and smell puppy breath. I sat on the ground, I played with puppies. But it wasn't only the memory that Walther took home. She says she also left with renewed motivation. The puppies also have their unicorn challenge. And lo and behold, through the goodness of Schultz's, these puppies have a second chance. They've overcome their challenges and I'm gonna work on overcoming mine. And some good news, doctors were able to prevent Eileen Walter from losing her sense of smell. She continues her treatment, says Nicole, with an incredible amount of positivity. As for Jim Halpin, he owns and lives on the guest house property. His goal is to make the shelter sustainable so that after he is gone, 